everyone, it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I would share an update about my experience with Zalota. I think my last video I was talking about round one of Zalota, and I have just, as of tonight, will have completed eight rounds of these drugs of Zalota. I am taking, what, um, 1,650, 1,650 milligrams. Um, of Zalota and I've been on this for eight rounds. This is considered, at least in my case, um, a chemotherapy that I'm on post-surgery, post-radiation. And just to make sure, because the breast cancer was found also in some of my lymph nodes, um, we just want to make sure that it didn't spread anywhere and we want to be extra safe and aggressive, um, So, which is why I'm on this oral chemotherapy drug. So I have two bottles here. here um, they're both the same drug, just different amounts that I combine for 1650. And I take them twice a day. Um, four tablets in the morning and then four tablets before bed. And today marks the very last day. I have my last four pills to take this evening after dinner, which I am so excited about to be um, getting to this milestone um, with my oral chemotherapy. So I'll have to publish and look into the actual study of Zalota. But my understanding is that um, you know, depending on how people respond to this particular drug, um, in the ideal situation, my oncologist wanted me to be on this for a total of eight cycles. So one cycle is considered, you take the drugs for two weeks, um, every a.m. and p.m. for two weeks, and then you have one week off, or like chemo vacation, I can call it. So you do two weeks on, one week off, two weeks on, one week off, and you do this for a cycle of eight cycles. So for me, that started in July, Today, um, we're actually December, just after the Christmas holiday, and I'm finishing six months, eight rounds of Zalota. Um, overall, I tolerated it pretty well. I am, though, however, very glad to be getting uh, through this, this chapter, because I'm not sure how much longer I could withstand um, this particular drug. The major side effect that I had with it, um, in general, fatigue, not terrible. I'm still working full time, commuting on my drive, doing well overall. But the major side effect that I had was with regards to um, what they call hand and foot syndrome. So I never actually got hand and foot syndrome, but what was happening was I would get these terrible blisters on the soles of my feet, on the balls of my feet, or on the edges, on the heels, on the toes, on the front of the toes. Um, and towards the end, around cycle six, seven, and eight, it would tended to be the worst, um, where it was just really sensitive for me to actually walk. Um, so I was definitely babying um, my feet, wearing slippers a lot, cushy socks, um, to kind of help ease the pain. So my understanding is that when this drug goes into your capillaries, if you're doing a lot of exercise, and I wish I was trying to do, I was trying to still run, do high intense cardio, a lot of jumping jacks, um, what was actually happening was I was breaking the capillaries and the chemotherapy drug um, seemed to have kind of flared up in these in these situations. So as hard as it was for me to kind of sit still and not run, um, I had to look into other physical activities such as swimming or potentially yoga where it involved less, fric less friction um, to cause these flare-ups. So that seemed to help. Um, but outside of the blisters, I think just in terms of the weeks where I was not on Zalota, so during that third week when I was on my chemo vacation, I would use Aquaphor and definitely use a lot of moisturizer um, to moisturize my feet, putting on the moisturizer um, underneath my socks and everything. I was cautious not to do that during the two weeks when I was taking Zalota, mainly because I didn't want to massage my feet or actually cause any of these additional flare-ups um, with the capillaries and everything. So for me, that seemed to work really well. and. So what else can I tell you? Um, in addition to the blisters, as in terms of side effects, um, I also experienced severe swelling um, on my feet as well, to the point where I went up two whole shoe sizes. Um, normally I'm a size seven, I went up to a size nine, and again, I think this just was the whole experience in terms of having the blisters, your feet were swelling, the shoes were rubbing, I was caused, it was causing friction. So um, to be quite honest, I borrowed my boyfriend's shoes a couple of times, wore them to work, had no shame, and at the end of the day, it's all about taking care of yourself, um, which is what I had to do. So I just wanted to make this quick video and share that eight runs of Zalota overall doing fantastic. 
Um, it had no effect on my hair. In fact, compared to my earlier videos, you can see it's growing a little bit. I can put clips in my hair. The hair is doing great. Um, I'm overall feeling quite fantastic. So this is my little update on Zalota and chemotherapy as an oral chemotherapy drug for breast cancer. Um, my next, in terms of health updates and in future series, I am going to be starting um, hormonal therapy and I will make a video on that shortly. I'll be starting that in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Thank you all. Take care.